Thanks so much for tuning in. Coming up on lunch break, breaking news we're following as President Trump announces he is officially withdrawing the U.S. from the Iran nuclear deal. How many of you can stop sneezing? Take a look. Can't at, stop sneezing. Take a look at the pollen levels here. and uh, We're going to look at those and then uh, this. It's a pollen explosion. Yeah, and then an incredible medical miracle story as a mother signs away her lifeless son's organs after a tragic accident to hopefully save the life of other children, and then the unthinkable happens. And last week we told you how dangerous kangaroos can be, and today uh, we have proof this horrible attack caught on video. Wow, that was aggressive. Yeah, it's a scary attack. That was scary. I just want to bring up a comment here. Cree Paul, one of our loyal watchers watching, and she says, hi, just a reminder, if you say my name today, I'm a girl since you always call me a boy. Officially, I, that's probably my she fault. <laughs> Cree, I'm so sorry. She does it great. <laughs> Cree Paul, I'm so sorry. We, we thank you for watching Lunch Break. Hello, everybody. Hello, Julie. Hello, Tabitha, Cree, today, and Jack, Jensen. Thank yeah. you for watching, everyone. Uh, we're going to start with what? Well, today is a great day because we are giving away another hanging flower basket oh. from the plant farm. So we want to let all of you know uh, it's a beautiful hanging basket. We used, might have seen the one yesterday, but just imagine a huge hanging flower basket. The plant farm has been around uh, since 1976. They have the perfect gifts for Mother's Day, plants, shrubs, everything you can think of. Mother's Day, by the way, is May 13th. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your mom and your wife. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your mom and your wife. Um, and every day this week, we are giving away a hanging basket from the plant farm. So the way you enter is just tag a friend in the comment section of Lunch Break. Do the little at symbol. It usually allows you to click a friend's name if you type it out. If for some reason you can't tag them, don't worry. Just you can try. Try your best. But tag a friend in the comment section below. And then after Lunch Break, we'll take those of you that entered by commenting a friend's name and randomly select a viewer in another Facebook Live right after lunch break. So it's not as complicated as, as it Does sounds. Does that sound complicated? No, it's just uh, I want to make sure that it's, it's really easy. Just tag a friend in the comments, and then you're entered to win a, a nice win. hanging basket. And you can win that, and you can take it to your mom and say, look at all this money I spent on, you on your gift this year. Yeah, yeah. don't tell her anything. <laughs> um, okay, well, we want to start uh, lunch break with some breaking news. Just announced within the hour, President Trump has officially withdrawn the U.S. from a landmark Iran nuclear deal, saying, quote, we have definitive proof that this Iranian promise was a lie, unquote. He is calling the deal defective at its core. Trump signed uh, the memorandum withdrawing the, us from the uh, 2015 agreement, and he is planning to reinstall sanctions on the Iranian regime. He says in an address to the nation that he will be reinstituting the highest level of sanctions and warning any country not to help the Iranian government. Trump says America, quote, will not be held hostage to nuclear blackmail and will not allow a regime that chants death to America to get access to nuclear weapons, unquote. The president says he made the decision after consulting with U.S. allies. All right, and then I just got to point out some comments here. First of all, Tanya Robinson tuning in all the way from Arkansas. Thanks for watching, Tanya. And then Cree Paul, just being funny, Cree says she has no friends, so she tagged herself. <laughs> That's, does that work if you tag yourself? Don't tag yourself. Cree, you have a friend. Tag me. At least tag me, Cree. You I'm can't win. <laughs> I know I can't win. Uh, uh, okay, uh, speaking of my voice, do I sound terrible because I feel terrible? Any of you can't stop sneezing today, having problems with allergies? Check out this video. This is what's happening, I feel like, all over Spokane, although this is not in Spokane. But it's a plume of pollen exploding. A man in New Jersey wanted to show and prove just how problematic the pollen is this year. So he drove a backhoe into a tree at work, capturing a seasonal storm shooting into the air. According to the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, allergic reactions to pollen from trees, grasses, and weeds affect more than 6 million children and 20 million adults nationwide. So let us know if you're feeling the sneezies today too. And this is the uh, very high pollen level that we're seeing in Spokane. This is your pollen forecast for the week. You can see it's the highest level today. And then continuing through the week, uh, it pretty much stays very high, except for tomorrow where it drops down a little bit. So The sneezies. The sneezies, yeah. You don't sound too bad. You just have that, that I'm sniffles. sorry. I've been sniffling all day. I'm like, Corey, just plug your ears. <laughs> don't listen to this. I'm sorry. I usually put my Nicole earplugs in anyway, so oh, I haven't really been man. hearing it. 
Okay. Uh, is it time to start Christmas shopping early, no. perhaps? Yes, you might want to because today, <laughs> shoppers, you can find some deep discounts at Toys R Us. Uh, the retailer is preparing to shut down its operations at more than 700 locations nationwide. This means the stores have slashed prices ranging from 30 to 50% off as part of its store closing event. Uh, among the brands you're going to find uh, discounted, you're going to find Fisher Price, Mattel, Barbie, Hot Wheels, Star Wars, much more, they say. Toys R Us is encouraging shoppers to take advantage of the savings before inventory sells out. Um, you actually have to go to one of the stores, though, because their website is now closed for purchases. Uh, and if you have a Toys R Us or Babies R Us gift card, you can get $5 off any $20 purchase at Michael's. And Rewards R Us members can save to just show them your card. And this offer, valid Saturday, through Saturday, May 12th. We got a lot of jokers today. Creep all saying, what's your name again? To me, I think. No. That's not <laughs> She's being funny. My name is Nicole Mishke. I don't expect you guys to know that, but that is my name. And um, also, uh, Carl Womack saying the plant farm folks aren't helping with all this pollen. But they are giving you a free hanging basket today. So if you're just tuning in and you want to win a free hanging basket from the plant farm or lunch break sponsor, tag a friend in the comments. You'll be entered to win. Moving on, how about a carjacking? Crazy carjacking caught on video. Police in Illinois are searching for the suspect. And this dramatic carjacking, there was an 11 year old girl inside the car when it happened. Take a look. There's not any sound, but you'll see this car drive off. Watch the door. Look at that. The girl just tumbles out of the car. Police releases, uh, release the video, Aurora Police Department. And you can see that 11 year old girl inside jump out and roll into the ga or in the gas station parking lot. Then her father comes out and uh, tries to stop the suspect, actually jumps on the hood of the car. I don't know if you kind of saw that there. You see the person get on the hood of the car. Luckily, they were both okay. Anyone with information, not that you have information, unless for some reason this uh, hijacker comes to Spokane, you're asked to call the uh, Aurora Police Department in Illinois. Aurora, Illinois, home of Wayne and Garth from Wayne's World. You know so many fun facts. I know some. I don't know if they're fun. They're facts. Uh, North Alabama mother suing the owners of an Alabama zoo where her young daughter was attacked by a kangaroo. This video is crazy. Uh, it's crazy scary. You see her daughter kind of gets close to the kangaroo's pen. He looks and, so cute and little. Right. But they're no. strong. You, that's when uh, the kangaroo reached through the fence, grabbed the girl, bit her ear. Uh, the child is, is heard screaming. We didn't really want to play that because it's it's not fun to listen to uh the lawsuit was filed on friday against the owners of the park which is in again alabama the lawsuit accuses the owners of negligence in connection with the attack that sent the nine-year-old daughter to the hospital uh they also said she said her daughter needed 14 stitches the attack caused quote extensive physical and mental damages and the lawsuit says the uh, kangaroo bit and attacked people in the past and uh they it says the owner's Hey, we, they, it says, hey, they, they knew the kangaroo was violent, but they did not do enough to protect the visitors. Yeah, and we actually told you about dangerous kangaroos last week. Do you guys remember this story? If you were tuning in, Cree Paul, you are probably turn, tuning in because uh, you watch pretty much all the time, and I know you're a girl now, but um, <laughs> coming out of Australia, this is in the town of Morissette where guides are warning tourists not to feed kangaroos because, yeah, they look cute, and you don't get to see them in America or wherever you are wherever you live, that's not Australia, but attacks are becoming really frequent. And this is due to the animals getting used to being fed human food. So it's now causing them to be hungrier and they're becoming aggressive for it. Look at him trying to grab this guy's bag. Some of the injuries, as you saw, are pretty gruesome. So once again, we're learning about how dangerous and strong kangaroos are. Well, Tammy points out and Carl points out there were signs warning them about that kangaroo that attacked that girl. Uh, Tammy says that, that there was a sign that says, I bite. Mm. So I, you gotta you gotta wrangle your children in a little bit too there and say hey yeah you never know with wild animals let's not get too close to them. I have a I can't even believe I'm about to admit this, but this is a, a very stupid parent moment for me. My daughter on the Centennial Trail probably five years ago. Mm -hmm. All the marmots. I thought they were so cute. No. And well, they're cute. But I started feeding them yeah. with her nuts and my daughter got bit on the hand so there you go shame okay? me i learned my lesson do not feed she was okay it was a very tiny little it was like not even really bleeding but it it scared her and i was like okay uh 
I'm being dumb. Let's not feed the marmots anymore. Good. Oh. Yeah, that was, I can't believe I admitted that, but don't do that. Don't be like Nicole. <laughs> nice marmot. Uh, Darren says, kangaroos are dangerous animals. Who lets their kids get that close to one? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but who lets their kid get close It did look like a, a flimsy fence, though. If you have a zoo, yeah. maybe, I don't know, a little Especially if they're that strong. I mean, you'd have to think that they could probably take the fence down if they really wanted to get out of it, you yeah. know? So. Kangaroos, they're, if they do this, if they stand up and do this, they're jacked. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. There's a, photos to prove it. You can Google it. A bus, <laughs> uh, a bus burst into flames in Rome today. One woman slightly burned, uh, but look at this video. Police reported a short circuit in the vehicle's electrical system caused the fire. Uh, flames obviously engulfed the bus in a few minutes. This started in the uh, rear lower area of the bus. The driver stopped when he saw the black smoke coming from the uh, bus, got all the passengers off, uh, attempted to actually put it out with a fire extinguisher, but no success there. Firefighters uh, were able to get it out quickly but it destroyed the bus. It, it uh, also left the front of a building blackened by smoke, and I think we have a video of that here. This is the aftermath. Look at the front of that building. Uh, this is what the aftermath looks like. That bus obviously just completely gutted, and again, one woman slightly burned, so she should be okay, but scary stuff. Scary situation. Uh, Charlie Brewer uh, saying, love your transparency, and there were no signs warning you of marmot danger. Thank you, Charlie, and if you don't know Charlie, She's a great lady here in Spokane. She actually has a huge fundraiser called Beyond Pink, which raises money for women to get early screenings for breast cancer. They use thermal imaging. It is the best screening for breast cancer you can get. It detects breast cancer sometimes up to 10 years before a mammogram would. Oh. So Charlie Brewer really making a difference for women in our area. Thanks, Charlie, for watching. Um, also, we have an incredible medical miracle. This is my favorite story that's trending today. Doctors cannot explain this, but a boy in Alabama, he basically came back to life uh, on the brink of death. 13-year-old Trenton McKinley, he was involved in a freak utility vehicle crash. It left him lifeless with severe brain injuries. He had had uh, two brain surgeries, and after those surgeries, he actually died four times. One of those times, he was dead for 15 minutes. And that last time that doctors brought him back to life, uh, he had no brain waves. So that's when doctors had to tell his mom the heartbreaking news that the next time his heart stopped, they would have to let him die, or she could choose to sign a waiver to donate his organs to hopefully be able to help five other children who are waiting for transplants. So his mother, Jennifer, in a Facebook post, she described seeing her son's lifeless body. She described his eyes as being dry, completely dry, and they were black in color. And so she heartbreakingly signed over her son's organs. And then a miracle. As doctors were getting ready to perform the final brainwave test before harvesting his organs, he started to move his hand and then his feet. His eyes got color back in them. Just incredible. And the mom posted this on Facebook. She said, my baby was in heaven for a whole day. He is a miracle. They say no one has ever come back from complete death of the brainstem and heart. But God did for my son what he did for his own, and I am so honored to have him back. And uh, this is my testimony. God is good. So uh, no matter what faith you are, I think that is an incredible story that anybody can say wow to. And uh, she updated everybody. Her son is walking, talking. Not only is he getting better every day, but he actually has his entire memory, which is another thing doctors just can't explain, that after being brain dead uh, for so long, he can he remembers everything. So pretty cool story there. I'm I must have missed it, or maybe you said it, but did they say how how did he get? He was in a utility vehicle crash, uh, which I believe is a four wheeler. Yeah, is that what they mean? Yeah, so a, a four wheel wheeler crash and um, severe brain injuries, and underwent two brain surgeries. Died four times. Ended up dying a fifth time. That last time, when they were about to harvest his organs, they did a final brain scan. And um, he was actually on the Today Show this morning. It was an incredible interview. So that you is can incredible. Look that up. Yeah, I can't imagine being in that position. So I mean, I'm glad he's doing better there. Um, uh, we'll we'll move on here. A Texas man being hailed a hero after rescuing a deer on the verge of drowning. This was uh, near Houston, Lake Conroe on Sunday. Okay. A Facebook video shows the man holding the deer in the water. Uh, he kind of swims up to the steps leading to the shore. Once on land, the deer. Look at the deer, he's exhausted. Uh, regains its footing, kind of takes a rest, and then uh, it's all good. Yeah, I saw this video, and I, I was thinking, deers probably can't swim really 
very well at all, right? Or well, I think they can swim some, but uh, not probably not well. for an extended period yeah. of time. That's where you're supposed to be. So there you go. That's where you're supposed to be, Good. said the Montgomery County Precinct Constable. And then also trending today, this is a story I think any mother can relate to. Let me know. If someone messes with your baby, they better watch their back, right? Probably a father, too, I right? would say a father. A Come father on now, Nicole. <laughs> any parent. These photos captured of an all-out brawl between a mommy possum biting a carpet python to get her baby away from the snake's deadly grasp, and they've gone viral. Christine Birch Williams took these photos and said the snake actually snatched the baby possum right off its mother's back, but Mama, she wasn't okay with that. Without hesitation, she attacked the snake, biting and clawing, clawing to save her baby, and it worked. Look, the snake actually released the baby possum, who appeared uninjured. The snake, though, sustained some bites and scratches, and he probably won't be messing with this mama anytime soon. But I want to know what you guys think about this, because there's now a debate about this. Some people are angry at this woman, Christine, who took the photos, saying she should have intervened and helped save the possum baby instead of taking photos. What do you think? All I think is I would be scared that the snake or possum or both would turn on me. Yeah, I don't think I want to get... I don't want to be attacked by either of those. I don't things. think I want to get in the middle of it. Um, I definitely want to, like... take a stick and maybe smack the snake. Or, like, yell. I'm like, hey, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Maybe see if that works. Uh, I don't know. Hope Francis says, let nature be nature. So, and then Creepall says, why should she? And Sierra says, no. Yeah. Uh, Lisa Hay saying, are we supposed to tag someone again to enter for the basket? Yes. If you're just tuning in, we're giving away a beautiful hanging basket from the plant farm. They are our lunch break sponsor this week. It's perfect for Mother's Day. Yeah. And uh, all you have to do is tag a friend in the comments. It will enter you to win. And right after lunch break, we'll do another Facebook Live to announce the winner. Yeah, that's it. That's go. all you have to do. Uh, a couple more things here. Uh, I just like this. I like things that blow up. I like explosions, implosions. If it's demolition, it's exciting to me. So here's just some <laughs> gratuitous implosions out of Pennsylvania. Smokestacks, gone. This plant closed uh, two years ago, but the smokestacks were known for pouring out toxic fumes over the years. Now you see them. Yeah. Now you don't. Those toxic fumes, that's why uh, nearby residents were concerned about this demolition. The health department says testing showed there was no asbestos at the plant. So, but as a precaution, uh, the crew wrapped the smokestacks and then um, another structure. Plus they use water cannons to, to keep the dust down, but there's just your, I don't know, your, your implosion of the day. I like it. Many people feel so much more satisfied now after seeing that video. Jack does. I know Jack it. says he does. Thank <laughs> you, Jack. Those are always so satisfying. Indeed. All right, what about weather? Um, it's going to be a beautiful day today, and then some rain starts tomorrow, but it's getting better after the next few days. Take it away, Ryan. Happy Tuesday, folks. A lot to talk about on this Tuesday here in the Inland Northwest. It's beautiful out there right now. Uh, warm, sunny today, near 80 degrees. Clouds, though, and showers push back in late. Thunderstorms, scattered showers for our Wednesday. It's all thanks to the tail edge of this area of low pressure. You can see it starting to form just off the coast of California. That is going to traverse the Cascades right back into eastern Washington later on tonight and into the day tomorrow. So you look at the future cast, pretty quiet on your Tuesday afternoon, but it's going to be Tuesday night. You can see those areas starting to pop up down to the southwest, the Columbia Basin first overnight tonight into the Spokane area, and then scattered showers going to continue to roll through into our Wednesday morning. So tonight, don't be surprised to hear a little bit of thunder and lightning rumble around the inland northwest. It's going to be one of those things. We do have that watch for severe storms, of thunderstorms that is, better chance of more severe Severe, maybe some larger hail, stronger winds with a marginal risk down towards the lower Columbia Basin and the foothills of the Blue Mountains. So once we get past Wednesday, really it's just kind of isolated showers Thursday. Temperatures a little bit cooler, but headed into Mother's Day weekend. Gosh, moms, make those outdoor plans now. 78 degrees and mostly sunny skies. Mother's Day, 78 degrees. Can't complain about that. No, and you can also can't complain if you win a hanging basket that we're giving yeah. away from the plant farm. Uh, and again, all you have to do is tag someone in the comments here. It's hard to, there. There it is. The plant farm. <laughs> tag Sorry. someone in the comments, and then how are we going to do this? Uh, we're so, going to get off lunch break, and then we're going to go do another live. Yes. And then we'll message you if, well, you'll, we'll you, if you watch, too. we'll yeah. announce it. But if, if you miss that, then we'll message you and say, you won. 
Yeah, but you have to tag someone before lunch break ends. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what time y'all going live for that? Creep Paul says, and I would say probably in the next ten minutes. Yeah. Let's I gotta grab all the comments, all the people that entered, and. Um, that takes me a few minutes to do. And then we generate them in a random name picker. It's a website that randomly selects a name, so there's no cheating. You get to see it happen, and mm -hmm. um, then we'll announce who wins. Okay. So, yeah. That's in it meantime, for lunch break. Get ready for sneezes because there's pollen everywhere, and I feel terrible. The sneezies. <laughs> the sneezies. Do you feel bad, or are you just stuffed up? I just, I feel so congested. Yeah, it's gross. It's mm. gross, basically. <laughs> You, you, she was saying she didn't know she was allergic to I, yeah. things. Well, I've, to never, like, I've never considered myself to have problems with allergies, but can we show this video that we showed earlier of this uh, pollen explosion? Because Sunday night, we were outside in front of our house, the kids were playing in the cul-de-sac, and this wind just like whipped through, and I saw this, all this pollen just fly out of the trees. You'll see it in a second here. Uh, look at this. This is what I saw. Not quite as much as this, but, and then that night, is when I started getting congested, and it's been ever since. So I, I'm just assuming it's pollen, because everyone else I talk to says, oh yeah, I'm congested too, it's allergies. So maybe I'm just allergic to trees. But anyway, pretty crazy. We, uh, I, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we took a, we do like a CPR course here at the station, and the guy that was teaching it said that our, our body's chemistry is always changing, so you can be, not be allergic to something at one like one day oh. and the next day you're all of a sudden allergic to it. Oh, that's so interesting. maybe that happened to that's you. That probably Nicole. happened to me. There you go. As you get older, other things happen. Okay. Because you're so old. Because <laughs> I'm so old. All right. Well, let's uh, give away a hanging basket. Comment by tagging your friend to enter. You probably have like 45 seconds till we stop this yes. live stream. So yeah. get in while you can. Until then, we'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.